Yes, um, there is a, a notable uh, difference uh, between Newton and Leibniz as far as uh, their relationships with Acolyte is concerned. Uh, to put it briefly, Leibniz was able to form a very active uh, school of uh, mathematicians who uh, extended his researches and uh, worked on the differential and integral calculus. Uh, Newton, uh, for reasons that uh, uh, should be considered by historians uh, more attentively, uh, did not form such a school. He uh, certainly uh, fed his acolytes with interesting results, and uh, they uh, treasured them, extended them, and so on and so forth. But there is not in uh, his circle anything similar to what was happening on the continent. So if we consider the continent and we see what happened after the publication of uh, the differential and integral calculus in the Acta Eruditorum, uh, Leibniz published in 1684 and 1686, two very important papers uh, in which he presented the basic elements of the differential and integral calculi. And what happens is that um, a handful of very talented mathematicians uh, began being interested in this new method, in this nova methodus that Leibniz was uh, proposing. Uh, the most notable are two brothers in Switzerland, Jacob and Johann Bernoulli, uh, who were based in Basel. And uh, these two brothers were gifted mathematicians and uh, were able to understand what Leibniz was doing, the importance of what Leibniz was doing, and began contributing new results. Johann Bernoulli, after visiting Paris, taught uh, the calculus to a group of uh, French mathematicians, which include uh, 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 L'Hôpital, uh, Pierre Varignon, and uh, others. Uh, these mathematicians, both in Basel and Paris, did um, a lot of work on the calculus. Um, L'Hôpital is the author of the first textbook on the differential calculus, entitled Analyse des Infiniment Petits, which was uh, published in 1696. L'Hôpital's Analyse was based on private lectures that Johann Bernoulli had given him. And uh, there was even a contract between Johann Bernoulli and L'Hôpital, such that Johann Bernoulli was selling to L'Hôpital his mathematical discoveries. But uh, the publication of L'Hôpital's Analyse did not provide all the information needed in order to become a research mathematician in the field. Uh, most notably, from L'Hôpital's analyse, the integral calculus was missing. How can you learn the most interesting part of Leibniz's mathematics? The answer is by private tuition, by visiting or corresponding with the few people on the continent who knew how to uh, do serious mathematics with Leibniz's method. So the correspondence between uh, Johann Bernoulli and Leibniz uh, was uh, very rich. The correspondence between Johann Bernoulli and Varignon, Varignon and Leibniz was very rich, but also personal contacts were important. So what we have on the continent is that uh, a very aggressive, somewhat litigious, and um, competitive group of uh, mathematicians uh, jump on the differential and integral calculus 
and uh, develop it, uh, especially uh, develop uh, ideas on the applications of the differential and integral calculus to the science of motion. From this point of view, Pierre Varignon is very important because he is the mathematician who, following Leibniz's instructions, was able to write differential equations of motion that are very important for the development of what was called analytical mechanics. One characteristic of this uh, group of uh, acolytes of Leibniz is that uh, Leibniz encouraged them to uh, develop the calculus. It seems to me that Leibniz was very happy to be, how may I say, uh, the discoverer of a new method and was quite happy if others were extending the boundaries of these methods applying it to interesting geometrical and, uh, and uh, uh, mechanical problems. A British mathematician who was very worried about this is John Wallis. John Wallis uh, was, um, uh, in the 1690s, a rather elderly man. Uh, he was very proud about what he had done. He was convinced that Newton had built his new mathematics upon foundations that he had uh, laid down. And um, another characteristic of Wallace is that he was very nationalist. He was very much concerned about uh, uh, defending the discoveries of British mathematicians. Uh, in his uh, 1685 algebra, he frequently refers to French mathematicians as uh, uh, mathematicians who had uh, stolen to the British their inventions. Therefore, he was very much concerned about the fact that on the continent, the differential and integral calculus were so successfully uh, developed uh, as uh, Leibniz's discoveries, whereas Wallis, who knew Newton's epistole to Leibniz, uh, Wallis was convinced that, Leib uh, that Newton had uh, a right of priority on these discoveries, and so Wallis uh, prompted Newton to print his results and was able to obtain from Newton uh, the two epistolae and uh, additional material that appeared both in the English algebra of 1685 and in the second volume of the opera in 1693. It is here that we find for the first time the dotted notation for fluxions and in 1699, in the third volume, he published the two epistolae in uh, full verbatim. By contrast, uh, if we look at Newton, we must say that uh, his relationship with uh, acolytes was not uh, that successful. Um, this might be just a matter of contingency. That is, uh, uh, the Bernoulli were born in Basel, <laughs> and uh, this is, you know, uh, both Jacob and Johann Bernoulli, and um, one of their pupils, one of the pupils of Johann Bernoulli, Leonard Euler, were, you know, amongst the greatest geniuses in the history of mathematics. So uh, it might just be a matter of contingency. Newton was not that lucky. But um, there is something else, there is something subtle about uh, Newton's uh, uh, position uh, as a, a master who has to be uh, considered with reverence and uh, uh, most of his pupils extended his results. For instance, Coates, uh, Roger Coates, one of the best British mathematicians uh, uh, of the generation uh, active at the beginning of the 18th century and the editor of the second edition of the Principia, what he did is to develop uh, the uh, 
tables of curves, we would say the integral tables that Newton uh, developed in De Quadratura. Um, Maclaurin in 1720, another great mathematician, Colin Maclaurin, uh, publishes a work in which he develops some geometrical ideas of Newton. Everybody, it seems to me, was uh, completing uh, Newton's works, uh, whereas the Continentals were trying new paths of discovery, were um, uh, using uh, Leibniz's uh, differential and integral calculus as an inspiration to do something new, something better. Uh, on the continent, for instance, there were many challenges, mathematical challenges. Uh, this group of uh, uh, continental mathematicians uh, was very competitive, so to speak. And uh, by no means, they, most of them, uh, by no means defined themselves as uh, just Leibniz's followers. They were Leibniz's friends. They were Leibniz's correspondents. But they uh, were willing to uh, define themselves as uh, active uh, mathematicians. An example, Johann Bernoulli. Johann Bernoulli uh, played a major role in the polemic between Newton and Leibniz. Uh, and he has been defined as Leibniz's watchdog. This is not true. Johann Bernoulli fought the battle in favor of Leibniz, but was uh, pretty much convinced of the importance of his work. An example is a paper of Johann Bernoulli dating 1716, entitled Epistola pro eminente matematico. Uh, Johann Bernoulli is uh, talking about himself in the third person, and he's defining himself as an eminent mathematician. Now, at the beginning of this epistola, Johann Bernoulli says something like that. Nobody doubts that Leibniz was the discoverer of the differential calculus. But as far as the integral calculus, this discovery, uh, if uh, uh, it seems to us, uh, should be attributed to an eminent mathematician named Johann Bernoulli, that is, myself. And you know, this is a, a very strong claim, because the integral calculus is the difficult bit, is the most interesting bit of it. And uh, in a way, Johann Bernoulli was also right. I mean, his work on uh, integration of differential equations is uh, uh, first class work. But uh, this example uh, is, uh, that I uh, consider is something that uh, could not have happened, I think, so easily in England. Uh, I don't think that uh, Newton favored or the British were able to uh, conceive Newton as just a mathematician who had given them a nice idea from which one could do something entirely different and perhaps better than him.